If you live or work in London, then you've probably seen them in action. You would have definitely have heard them. They are the Metropolitan Police's elite mobile escort unit, tasked with the protection of VIPs in and around the capital. They are the Special Escort Group. The Special Escort Group provide armed mobile protection to members of the royal family, protected members of the UK government and visiting heads of state and dignitaries. Typically operating within the London area, they also provide armed vehicle escorts for high value loads such as gold bullion and high risk category A prisoners. Made up of around 36 police constables, five sergeants and one inspector, the SEG is the mobile branch of the Royalty and Specialist Protection Division within the Metropolitan Police Service. They use a range of marked and unmarked vehicles which include motorcycles, cars and 4x4s. The aim of the SEG is to keep the motorcade moving, as this presents less of a target to any would-be attackers. This is done in a smooth and calm manner, all whilst causing the least amount of disruption to other road users. The story of the SEG starts back in November 1952, when the British government requested enhanced security measures for the upcoming five-day visit of Josip Broz Tito, the Prime Minister of Yugoslavia. Although Tito was a visiting head of state, it was decided that his visit would not take the full form of an official state visit, and thus he would not be escorted by the cavalry on arrival in London. Tasked with this security request, the Metropolitan Police arrived at the idea of using police officers on motorcycles to escort Tito. Under the leadership of Inspector Arthur Tisdall, 22 trustworthy and respected police officers were selected, Triumph Speed Twin 5T motorbikes were obtained, and the SEG was formed. By 1963, Inspector John Baldwin was in charge of the SEG and became one of the most influential people in the history of the department, refining training practices, focusing on safety aspects, constantly developing escorting techniques, improving timings and polishing their presentation. He also ensured the continuation of high standards with new members being brought into the team. To date, Inspector Baldwin is one of the longest serving chiefs of the SEG. In 1965, for the funeral of Winston Churchill, the SEG were entrusted to escort around 60 visiting kings, queens, heads of state and other high officials, ensuring their arrival at St Paul's Cathedral within a specific time frame and with no margin for error. With only 24 SEG members in their ranks at the time, John Baldwin had to call upon his reserve list of trained outriders. Despite no time for a live dress rehearsal and at a time when the SEG did not use radio communications, the multiple VIP escorts for the day were carried out with expert efficiency and meticulous precision. Over the next few decades, the SEG had escorted Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II during several of her official engagements. They had also escorted some of the world's foremost leaders, such as Emperor Hirohito of Japan, King Paul of Greece, King Faisal of Saudi Arabia, Soviet Premier Nikolai Bulganin, and USA Presidents Eisenhower, Kennedy and Nixon during their visits to the UK. They also escorted the first man in space, Yuri Gagarin, and Valentina Tereshkova, the first woman in space, during their London visits. By early 1976, it was agreed that the SEG would be allowed to carry concealed revolvers, as most of the officers already held a firearm certificate. Around this time, it was decided to add vehicles to the convoy as additional security. The Rover 3.5 was added to the convoy as a rear vehicle, especially when Category A prisoners were being transported. Since its conception, there had been a steady change to the motorcycles used by the SEG. The Triumph Speed Twin 5Ts had been replaced by the Triumph Thunderbird 60 in 1959, which were then replaced by the Triumph TR6 trophies in 1967. As much loved as the Triumphs were, in 1980 the SEG changed to the BMW brand with the R80s. These 800cc motorbikes proved to be an instant hit with their powerful engines, smooth ride and latest radio communications. Several months ahead of the visit to the UK by His Holiness the Pope in 1982, 
PC Steve Brownridge of the SEG was selected along with an officer from the Met's traffic department to help design the new Popemobile, which was to be built by British design firm Ogle, based in Letchworth. The remit was straightforward. His holiness had to be visible, but safe, and the style of the vehicles in the specially built bulletproof housing had to befit a man of his stature. In total, four Popemobiles were built, two based on the Range Rover and two based on the Leyland Constructor truck. PC Brownridge and the traffic officer were also given the responsibility to recce all the locations the Pope was due to attend. Although the Pope's six-day visit was a national event, the Metropolitan Police were in charge of his movement and the SEG was specifically tasked to escort him around London for his engagements with Her Majesty the Queen at Buckingham Palace and for his open-air mass at Wembley Stadium. Perhaps the most high-profile event the Special Escort Group have ever been part of was the funeral of Diana, Princess of Wales, in September 1997. The SEG had just taken delivery of the new BMW R1100RS motorbikes fresh from the dealership which had been swiftly prepared for them. A total of 15 SEG officers were assigned to the day, all wore black as a mark of respect instead of their usual high visibility jackets. After the ceremony at Westminster Abbey, the coffin was placed into a Daimler hearse which then slowly made its way along a set route. At Hyde Park Corner were seven SEG motorcycle officers waiting in a box formation. As the hearse arrived, all the outriders slowly moved off in line with it. Three officers rode at the front in an arrow formation, four officers rode at each corner of the hearse, another three officers were in the Range Rover at the rear of the cortege. Two further SEG officers rode on ahead to warn the police on foot patrol of the approaching convoy and to ensure the roads were clear and ready. The three remaining bikes followed 10 minutes behind the cortege, escorting a backup hearse. The SEG had sole responsibility to escort Diana along her 75 mile journey to her resting place at her family home in Althorp, Northampton. The funeral procession had been watched by over 1 million people lying in the London streets and a further 2 billion people had watched worldwide on TV. The SEG had been pivotal in the proceedings and in ensuring the smooth and professional escort of a much-loved princess. These days, the SEG can be often seen escorting VIPs around London or to and from Heathrow Airport. After a short spell on Honda VFR 1200s, the SEG are back on BMWs with the R1200 RS. Like most of the SEG motorcycles before, these bikes are in a plain white livery. Although they have blue flashing lights, the bikes do not have sirens. Since the 1970s, they have used the trusted Acme Thunderer whistle to alert drivers and pedestrians who have become desensitised to sirens in the city. This low-key approach has become the main method of escorting VIPs, swiftly moving them through the traffic with a minimum of noise and disruption. One SEG officer, typically the most senior, will take on the role of Easy Rider, who will ride directly in front of the lead vehicle at all times. Their role is to choose the route the convoy will take, frequently altering it in response to traffic conditions and to help avoid any possible ambushes. They will also control the pace of the convoy to ensure the correct arrival time. There is a saying within the SEG that the royals run to time and so should you. The other SEG riders are called the working bikes. Their function is to leapfrog one another and to clear the route ahead of the convoy. This can involve stopping traffic at a junction, preventing pedestrians from crossing, creating a clear path through a particular busy junction or finding a route by riding offside. All SEG officers are highly trained, highly skilled and highly practiced. This is the key to making all their convoys look smooth and effortless. The working bikes skillfully clear the route ahead so you rarely ever see the easy rider put the foot down. When the working bikes overtake the VIP's car, they ease off the throttle as to reduce any disturbance to the principal inside. It is this level of attention to detail, along with nearly 70 years of high security escort experience, that means the SEG are often requested to train other law enforcement divisions worldwide. If you want to learn more about the Special Escort Group, then I strongly recommend Escorting the Monarch, written by Chris Jagger, the son of a retired SEG officer. 
This book offers fascinating insights into their history, anecdotes from those that were in the SEG and never before seen photos taken by the officers themselves. Find out how the SEG crest and motto came about, when a young Prince William and Prince Harry visited their garage and the developing relationship with the royal household. The book also describes in detail what it takes to be an SEG rider escorting a VIP through rush hour London.